Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today is Wednesday, so you know what that means. Today we're gonna be figuring out if a product is a whoop or womp. Every single Wednesday I test out a couple products from a brand or one product and we will do it a vlog style because I'm not big on first impressions. And today I'm really excited because I'm going to be trying out the brand new Maybelline a Superstay 24 Hour Foundation. Now this baby retails for $11.99. It comes in a variety of shades and I got this on Ulta. And then along with that, which I might add, Maybelline had a ton of new releases. And Maybelline also came out with a sponge. Now I already used this, I'm wearing the foundation right now. And plus I got a little bit cold once it reaches like 65 in LA I'm such a baby I get cold give me a break we're not used to having real cool weather but the sponge just come in this box and they just name it the face studio a blender and then it also has this little angle right here and this is what the sponge looks like nice and dirty and used you guys will see it in the demo when it's nice and clean and then this baby retails for $5.99 so now let's go back to the foundation the foundation is a full coverage foundation and it's supposed to wear up to 24 hours I'm not gonna be testing it for 24 hours but a good amount of time that people usually wear their foundation it's also breathable uncomfortable seamless matte finish oil free and that it won't clog pores dermatologist tested and fade and transfer resistant so we shall see how this baby performs so if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet don't forget to subscribe because it is free 99 literally free also don't forget to click that little notification bell because if you don't click it I'm gonna give you a ticket so cheesy I am so if you don't click the bell you won't always get notified whenever my videos are up on YouTube that's just how it is so if you want to see how this foundation wears then keep on watching Woo! Okay guys, now let's go ahead with application. I'm obviously going to be using a sponge and then I'll use a brush on the other side. As far as primer goes, my skin has been a little bit funky. Uh, not too funky, but a little bit more drier than usual. So I've been using the Smashbox Primer Oil on the perimeter of my face, but I have always had an oily T-zone. Unfortunately, it's okay. I love my oils, but to fill in my pores and also control my oils I'm using the makeup forever smoothing primer and I've already applied both I'm gonna give a pump on the sponge first Here's a little pump right there, and I got a little homie right here. It is Tom. He came to visit me You notice how I go straight for this area like I need to cover you up I can definitely make this work. I thought it was gonna be a little bit maybe too yellow or a little bit too dark. I really like this sponge. It's super bouncy and one of my favorite, favorite sponges from the drugstore is the L'Oreal. I always say if I could never ever buy another beauty blender or my personal favorite, which is a Sigma 3D HD, Ever again, if I had to rely on a drugstore one, it would be this baby right here. It's pretty amazing and really affordable. I believe this one is $5.99 as well. Well, so far, just having that little bit really did a nice job just up until here. I don't really have too much foundation to put up top on my forehead, but it works out because I'm not one where I have a lot to cover on my forehead. I just wanna balance out the skin tone. I probably could have gone like one shade down for sure, but like I said, I accidentally picked some beige because I was thinking, oh, I'm always some beige, but they have that same exact exact shade name in L'Oreal, and that's what I am in the L'Oreal Pro Matte and Pro Glow. Now, here's a little before and after action, and I really like the way the sponge performed. Really nice bounce to it, bounce with me, bounce with me. A little bit, I didn't even use this side. I feel like it's so good for underneath the eyes for concealer. Let's just concentrate it right here. Now I'm like trying to use this side. Oh, it actually feels really good. This curvature, I really like. That's why I love my Sigma 3D HD <laughs> blender. I have it all in front of me. I'm obsessed with this one just because it hits all angles and I get a lot of uses out of it. So that little homie can go away. I usually name them. Let's name them Stanley. It's not like an actual zit anymore because I popped that sucker. So bad. Looks nice and light. It is definitely full coverage. Yeah, I like it so far. So I'm gonna use a brush. I'm just gonna pump a little bit right there. This is just the collab brush. And we're gonna start, let's stipple the product on. Oh, this is giving way more coverage right away. That was just with the one pump. So, hmm, I really like the way the side looks like with the sponge as well. But if you can use less product, that's definitely a plus. So let me do a little bit more and then let's just start stippling this on and see how this works. I just don't want it to start looking cakey because since this is full coverage, you always want to be careful with the full coverage because then it's easier just to look really layered. And who wants to be like a seven layer dip? Not me. I just want to eat a seven layer dip. 
All right, guys, well, here is the final application. Here's the brush side, here's the sponge side. I wanna say I feel like I really like the brush side. I think it looks really nice. A little bit better than the sponge side, and I love my sponges. Uh, I like it with a brush. I can tell that slight little smidge difference. I just can see my pores a little bit just because I didn't put too much pore filler. So don't blame the foundation on that. That was me. So yeah, this is how you get tan. Woo! I'm just laughing because I should have picked a shade below, but it's okay. I'm still going to test it out. I wanted to see how this little curvature was going to be by blending out my concealer just so I can show you to see if this sponge is worth it. But I can already tell I love this sponge. It's super bouncy and soft once you wet it. It feels much more tough when it's not wet, but that's like with most sponges because this one feels tough too, but once you wet it, it's like woo, woo, woo. See, like it's just hugging my top cheekbone. If I had to pick, I might pick this one now because just because of this angle, it's really cool and I love angles. Like I said, I love my 3D HD blender from Sigma because of the angles. It's like, it's perfect just for the chin, like woo. So I went ahead and did the rest of my concealer and set it. And if you guys notice anything else, uh, besides the lip balm on my lips because they were so freaking chapped, I feel like I was disrespecting you guys. What I'm talking about is the foundation. And as you can see, completely set. And it almost looks like I set it already with my Laura Mercier because whenever I do these foundation tests, I don't like to add any extra coverage or anything. Always a translucent powder and it's usually Laura Mercier because that's just... Bang. My face looks like it's completely set already, which is amazing. I mean, I'm one where I always set my face, but maybe today I won't. It's really, 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 really reminding me of the L'Oreal Pro Matte. You know, when you once that foundation sets, it looks like you actually set it with a powder. Sorry, I had a little bat in my cave. But it's crazy because for the L'Oreal Pro Matte, when that one sets, it just looks much more drying and flat matte on me. And this one doesn't really look as drying. I mean, it could be because I did use this primer oil, but if you're someone who has oily skin, I can already tell this is gonna be amazing because that's what it's perfect for, that foundation. So I feel like this one is gonna be the same exact way. With these circumstances, I'm actually not going to set my face. I wanna see how this baby's gonna wear on its own because it, it honestly looks like I set the freaking foundation. Okay guys, so I went ahead and did the rest of my makeup. So what I used was the Maybelline Master Contour. Figured I'd just stick with the Maybelline products and show you what I really love. And I'm obsessed with this one. Obviously you can tell because I've hit pan and I already had to glue my highlight down. Actually the other day I like grabbed it and it flew out, but it is one of my favorite, favorite all time go-to drugstore palettes. Um, I have the blush, the highlight, and also the bronzer to help contour. And then for my lips, I will say that this combination doesn't really look the best on me right now because my lips are a little bit more on the dry side. I use Peach Buff and also Purely Nude, and I combined these two shades together, but they are a matte line, so... Yeah, you can definitely tell that my lips are looking a little dry, but it's okay. I'll just work with it for right now, and we will see how this foundation wears. I'm actually really excited about it because I love the way this already looks. And for me, not setting this and looking at it, I'm like, 9.35 in the morning, and I'll try to wear it probably because I am going to the gym today. I'll probably wear it until like 8 o'clock, and then I'll wear it at the gym just because I don't care. And yeah, we'll see how this baby wears. Hey guys, so right now it is currently 7.30 and I wanted to do a check-in. It's hours and hours later. Sorry, I had like errands and stuff like that I had to do. But let's take a look at my face. It's not that oily at all. I just have like oils from right here. That's highlight. And just oils coming from my forehead. But I think that's just because I didn't set the foundation. But I think it looks so good. Okay, there. I have my reflector up now. See, now you guys can really see it. Wow, this foundation looks really good, but I will say, I feel like I look a little cakey around this area. So if anything, I need to be kind of careful because I did kind of do a little bit like two layers, but yeah, I see a little bit of caking up right in here. But other than that, I think it looks so good for after how many hours? I mean, my gosh, I put on at 9.30 right now, it's 7, 7.35. So right now I'm gonna get ready for the gym. I'm gonna go ahead and work out. Yes, I will work out in this makeup. I will not take it off. I do me, you do you, that's just how it is. And we're gonna see if it even like lasts. You know what I mean? Just say like you're at work and you're just gonna head to the gym and you wear your makeup. Because I know I do have some makeup wears at the gym, but yeah. Looks good so far. Also, I did do an e.l.f. review on the e.l.f. Active line. If you just kind of want to do very light, minimal makeup, I think you would be pleasantly surprised with that review. I'll put it right here. Check it. 
Okay guys, I am back from the gym. I think you guys can tell my lashes did not last. I was like, whoop, be gone. I know it doesn't say, sorry, I just ran up the stairs. I know in the back, it doesn't say water resistant, fade and transfer resistant. I will say, I mean, I definitely don't recommend liquid foundation like to go to the gym. If anything, if you wanna kinda like balance out your skin, I would say powder. And definitely always wear a primer. You always want a barrier. Say you're just going from work to the gym. It lasted really well, if you guys can see it. Sorry, I had to get my breath. It is amazing without it being set. I can only imagine its performance when it is set. I love it. This is probably one of like my new favorite foundations. But all in all, am I giving to give this a whoop or a womp? Obviously a big whoop. I absolutely loved it. I thought it performed great. I loved how it didn't need to be set. Really controlled my oils for so many hours. Like this is gonna be an oily skin girl's best friend. I don't want to just say girl, girl or guy's best friend. And yeah, I think it worked amazing. So I'm excited to try it when it sets. Um, if anything changes, I will always let you guys know, like in my December favorites, and then I'll usually toss in some womps in case anything happened to like backfire on me. If you are someone who is dry skin, I will say just make sure you properly prep your skin. I use a Smashbox primer oil to help prep on the outside, and it seemed like it was okay. Like my skin doesn't look dry or patchy. It didn't cling on to any dry patches. Uh, the only thing I will say is I still see a little bit cakey right here. So if anything, I would say just be really careful on layering. I can kind of see it a little bit cakey right here now that I really look at it. Hope you guys enjoyed this Wednesday Whoop or Womp. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Sorry I didn't have too much vlog footage today. I didn't really do too much except just edit and film and just run an errand, which was very boring, honestly. And I hope you guys enjoy this wear test. All right, guys, well, that is it for today's video. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. It's the red button down below. Also, click that little bell, because if you don't click it, you're gonna get a ticket. And if you don't click that little bell, that means you won't always see my videos whenever they upload on YouTube. I'm kidding about the ticket part. I'm just like laughing how early I say click it or ticket. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Mwah.